For people in their 20s looking to protect themselves from HIV, PrEP medication has been an effective prevention method for years. Young people visiting this mobile clinic near Pretoria are learning about the importance of taking the medication at the same time each day. With PrEP, you have to remember that, oh, today I have to take the PrEP. And with myself, as I'm working in the mobile clinic, sometimes I get home very late, so I still have to take the PrEP. So with injection, I know that it's in my body. It's something that I move around with, rather than moving around with the <laughs> thing, the sound of the pills. Yeah, so I'm very happy. PrEP may soon be replaced with a shot given every two months. It's called cabotegavir. A clinical study involving 3,200 women across seven countries in sub-Saharan Africa has shown how promising it may be. Researchers at South Africa's HIV Prevention Trials Network and the University of Witwatersrand believe it will particularly help women under the age of 24 who are at highest risk. Current PrEP, which is a daily oral pill, is associated with a number of challenges. It's hard to take a pill a day, but also young women experience judgments about their sexual activity. And what we saw is that the people who received cabotegravir uh, had um, basically um, only four infections compared to 34 in the Truvada arm. And what that told us that was that cabotegravir was nine times more effective in preventing HIV. More than 32 million people have died from AIDS-related illnesses over the past four decades. Deaths are down 60 percent since a peak in 2004, and more than 26 million people are on antiretroviral drugs. But there are still around 12 million people living with HIV who are not on treatment, and the pandemic has put some gains in jeopardy. The challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic mean that the world is losing important ground in the fight to end AIDS as a public health threat by 2030. The UN says the response to HIV AIDS demonstrates what can be achieved by working together and what can be done when all have access to the treatment they need. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.